fish. <laughs> We've been kayaking for two days now, and it occurred to me that adventure travel has taken on a totally new dimension. It used to be that you would go quietly and almost secretly to faraway places. And nowadays, this kind of adventure travel is popularized by websites. Mongo Park at Microsoft is one of those websites. Mark Cruz, one of our companions on this trip, is the publisher of Microsoft's adventure travel website called Mongo Park. Mark will show us how our vacation makes the journey from this remote world of Newfoundland to the virtual world of Mungo Park. Okay, so, so here's what we're going to do. So here's your words. The text that you wrote is right. on here. Um, but since a good website is more than just words, we're going to take these words and then we're going to take the pictures that came out of this digital camera. And the big difference between this camera and a normal film-based camera is that here, instead of having a roll of film uh, in the body that is exposed whenever you open the shutter, here we have a little hard disk, which is a PC-MCIA card, and that goes right in there. And every time the shutter opens, that image is saved onto that little disk in digital form so that it can be uh, connected to our computer. This is a rather expensive alternative to a regular 35 millimeter camera, but it does allow you to immediately feed it into your desktop, your power book. If you have Adobe Photoshop, that's a software program. And I found this camera, which I thought would be fun to bring along to take some more digital photographs myself. And this works on a floppy disk, uh, much like your computer. And here is my, these are my pictures. Yeah. So we might find some things in here that are useful for my report. But we also do sound since it's the internet. So this is a Sony uh, DAT recorder, which stands for digital audio tape. This is um, digital, like all this other media that we're doing instead of analog. But it works the same, you turn it on and you talk into it. So we have three kinds of media here, sound, uh, pictures, and, and text. text. And we're gonna move it all on to this laptop where we can do some editing, which is phase two. Okay, great, let's see how you do that. Okay. So here is your Microsoft computer. What That's kind it. is this? This is a Toshiba Tecra okay. uh, uh, Pentium 150 with a big two, meg two gigabyte hard disk. Okay, so it holds so a lot of stuff. Big one. Yep. And now we're gonna take all our three kinds of media here. We have your voice, the pictures of what we did today, and your words on text, and we gotta get them all onto here. So we take uh, the PCMCA card and we put it right in the side of the computer in the PCMCA slot. Goes, okay. uh, goes right there. So most new computers have this slot. That's right. And then we have some patch cords here that go into the audio on the back. And they just connect right in here to the DAT recorder. So then we move the sound that's on here onto that big hard disk in there. And then we take the text that you wrote on this disk and we're putting it in the floppy drive, which is on the front of the computer. And then we're gonna take all of those things and go into the Windows Explorer and move them all into one folder. So we're compiling all those different file types into one place on the computer. Well, Mark, now that we've gotten all the information stored into your computer, how do we get it from here to Redmond to Microsoft? Good question, because we are out on this remote island in this uh, place that has no uh, phone lines. So what exactly. we need to do, and uh, we have cellular phones, and in this case, we also have a satellite phone. This is a, kind of a neat device. You can see here that we have a, a solar panel, and there's a little radiation warning there, which means you don't want to be standing in front of it. But the idea here is to take this outside, and unobstructed by anything, you want to aim it at a satellite. And the way you do that is, you see this little instruction card here? This instruction card tells you, depending on what latitude you are in the world, uh, what angle you need to aim it at in order to hit the satellite. So up here in Newfoundland, that tells us what angle we need to aim the satellite phone at when we set it up. So now all the files and all this data, three different types, pictures, text, and sound, are all going to travel from the computer here, through the phone line, into the satellite phone, and then it's going to go from here, just through the air, connecting to a satellite in the sky, 
and then from that satellite to another satellite which is kind of hovering over Seattle, Washington, and then down to Microsoft headquarters where our editors will take all, that, all these different images, edit them one last time, and they'll actually build the page that you'll see on the internet. So just like a newspaper editor would take text and put it in columns and put pictures there. Well, they'll design it. They'll design yes. it and they'll lay out the whole page. Well, thank you for explaining this rather complex operation, but you do make it simple on mungopark.com. You too can access that website and uh, see what we've been doing and what we're talking about up here on Woody Island off the coast of Newfoundland. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Martha. It's been fun. I got one. I have a fish. I do. Definite one. Yep. Oh yeah, beauty. Oh, boy, oh. A beauty, look. Oh, oh. You got the damn day. Nice beauty. Yeah. Hey, I got a fish. I knew I'd get a fish. <laughs> Well, Frank, you're, you're the best. You taught us how to fish for cod by jigging. And you know what? You're great. Yeah. Thank you very much. What a great way to end a fabulous day. I can't wait to cook these cod tonight for my friends on Woody Island. I hope you enjoyed this field trip to Newfoundland. For more details about our travels, log on to the Mungo Park website or at marthastewart.com.